Things have been a little awkward here today. <laughs> Last night, um, Secretariat got Bob the warm-up comedian's uh, Mythbusters hat. <laughs> and Bob was mad, as you can see. <laughs> Good acting, Bob. He's <laughs> good, isn't he? He's so good. You know, when this show's over, maybe if you've got a play or something in your community, he could be in it. <laughs> anyway, now uh, Bob has a Secretariat hat. And Secretariat is now jealous because Secretariat wants a Secretariat hat, but he's now got the Mythbusters hat. It's I can crazy. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can sort it out, Dr. Phil style. <laughs> Sorry, I took the long way around the horse. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you can do a decent Dr. Phil, can't you? Yeah, sure, yeah. All right, let's hear it. Yeah. All right, Bob, let's hear what happened. <laughs> now, you got your hat taken away by this horse. How does that make you feel? Uh, it made me feel hollow uh, and a little sad. Hollow? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and what about you, Secretariat? Why did you take his hat? I don't, I think what he's saying is, uh, no, I'm not talking to you, I'm very high right now. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. So, uh, if you are Dr. Phil, are you actually a doctor? <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> so what actually are your qualifications, Dr. Phil? I'm just a guy with a bald head and a dream. <laughs> if you drag uh, a $20 what? bill through a trailer park, I think we all know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Man, you really are like Dr. Phil. <laughs> if you put money in a wheelbarrow, it's going to be pretty heavy. Well, I guess we all learned something. <laughs>
impress me, make my hair jiggle like an untrained monkey. That's what like some kind of wild monkey. Oh, I can't live by your rules. I don't like bananas, I like crepe Suzettes. That was an untrained monkey. An untrained monkey who doesn't care what you think. <laughs> I like that. Actually, I think trained monkeys don't care what you think. They don't, they don't. Monkeys they don't. don't give a rat's ass no. about anybody. See, if you had a monkey out here, it would be even worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, no, it wouldn't be worse than me. No, no, he's the untrained monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. A great day for America's sweetheart, Bruce Springsteen, who is 65 years old today. He can retire. Now when he's dancing in the dark, it'll be because of his cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, uh, Bruce Springsteen, boss, sir. Uh, you'll have to update some of his lyrics. Baby, we were born to sit. You got any, Jeff? Yeah. yeah. Uh, cold in the USA. I was cold. Yeah, you know, I get it, yeah. <laughs> Nah, it's not fair. Bruce Springsteen looks terrific. You got a recent picture of Bruce? Look at that. Come on. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he looks good. Yeah. You imagine him sitting up late at night going, Oh, what the hell? What's wrong with you, man? Yeah. And it was day two of my favorite week. If you know anything about me, you know this is the week I wait for <laughs> all year. Uh, it's Sea Otter Awareness Week this week. Yeah. You making a graphic for that? It's the old, uh, wow. it's the old uh, Peruvian Independence Day graphic, but it's got a, it's got a, uh, yeah, pig on it, weird, which yeah, looks right. a bit like a sea. Oh, shut up! <laughs> we're just, uh, you know, we're just trying to get rid of all the graphics. Yeah, yeah we're going through all the, we're out of money, folks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sea Orchard Awareness Week is taking the country by storm. Today, Donald Trump put a sea orchard on his head and no one noticed. Orchards, of course, known as the beavers of the sea. Hey, you probably do your own joke yeah. there. <laughs> you know, something, crabs, blah, blah, clams, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Anyway, look, the sad news is, whoop, okay. Wow. The audience is like, Craig, that's wrong. Very upset with that. <laughs> that, that was, was it. like nothing that at was all. It. That was the... I kind of loved it. It was pretty... Funny. And the audience is like... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I don't, I don't know, know what, what he's doing. doing. I don't like it. I, I did not come here to do my own joke. <laughs> anyway, very sad news from the world of douches. Uh, Chris Jenner and, uh, has officially filed divorce from Bruce Jenner. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, I know. They were separated a year, but they waited until now to divorce because it's in the script. Right. <laughs> Bruce Jenner says he's putting on a brave face. He took it out of the closet, put it on, and yes... See, now here's what I'm thinking. Yesterday, yesterday it was Mama June and Sugar Bear. Today it is Chris and Bruce. What is going on? I was led to believe that reality TV was a bastion of stability. If two crazy narcissistic attention whores can't make it work, what hope is there for the rest of us? Yeah, they like that. They like that. Yeah. They like that. Yeah. That woke them up. And that was me, ladies and gentlemen, selling the joke. Yeah. I sold it. Well, that's more like it. I don't come here to do my own joke. I want to see him sell me the joke, Craig. I didn't care for that beaver stuff earlier. You know. <laughs> well, then you're going to have a long night. <laughs> anyway, the whole uh, Kardashian family is very upset about the split. I haven't seen Kim take something so hard since her sex tape. Oh, really. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. Blame yeah. me. No. Oh, you're no. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah, that's it. That'll do. Oh, no, I have to tell you one thing that happened. And if you know the magical land when you go up to uh, uh, Wisconsin and you go into the wardrobe and you open the door, where do you end up? It's uh, Canada. Canada, right. right. <laughs> so you go into Canada, four, 542, 542 people in Canada set a new Guinness record for the largest gathering of people dressed like Batman. Look at this. There you are, look at that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> 542 of them. Meanwhile, here in America, the actor Val Kilmer set a record for the largest person who once played Batman. Oh, man. <laughs> Do we have a picture of Val Kilmer as Batman? There you are. Ah, I know, oh, no. I know. 
I know. You laughed, then you hated yourself, then you transferred it onto me and you hated me. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't know what you're doing. I know what you're doing! I like you like this. The train's coming off the yeah, rails. Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend! It's done. We're out of here. Yeah. Welcome back to the show where everyone gets a free hat. You in the audience, you will all get a free hat. Now, wait, you won't get it here. <laughs> I'm just saying, at a certain point in your life, I would, I would bet you'll get a free hat from somewhere. Right, Jeff? Yeah, years from now, a man will come someone, to you. Someone will come to your house in the future, who knows when? You don't know when. And will say, you remember that guy that you went to see, you, and you said you'd get a free hat? Here it is. <laughs> and that guy will be me. <laughs> Walking from door to door, across the earth, giving out free hats, and trying to solve things. Because after December, that's all you're going to have I've time got. to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, just in case this goes... You uh, never know. I, I think there were some celebrities tried to call in last night uh, for a celebrity call oh, in Monday. Celebrity call. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Well, because the lines were jammed. Could be anybody. So anybody... Oh, hold on, excuse me. Hello? <laughs> hello? Oh, uh, hello. It's uh, Val, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer? I heard you, uh... Oh, sorry. No, that wasn't... It was just a joke. I heard you were... Uh, no, it was a joke. You, uh... You, you were... Uh, it, uh, what? Uh, would you... Would you like a hat? <laughs> Wow, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Passing out hats. I, I, he, he's giving out free hats like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> and there is no tomorrow, Craig. Are you saying I'm the caretaker? You've always been the caretaker, sir. <laughs> yeah. Kind of creepy, that, isn't it? Yeah. wonder if we could make it even creepier by using the phone. Hello? You've always been the caretaker, sir. Is that better? A little bit. Down, down a bit. Is, is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Click. Wow. All right. Um, really good. A little creepy. That was a little like creepy. That. Good stuff. All right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from the untrained monkey of late night comedy, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. This is from Mary in Winston-Salem in North Carolina. Isn't that, isn't that a cigarette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a fine cigarette it is. Although maybe not. Are they the sponsor of the show? It doesn't matter. Forget it. Let's move on. No, no, you can't advertise cigarettes on TV anymore. They don't do that anymore. That's no, right. no, no. It's not like the old days when you could say, enjoy your Chesterfield to clean out your lungs. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. <laughs> Get it right in there. This is from Mary and Winston's. I used to smoke, you know. Yeah, oh, was that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So did you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> I, I smoked crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. All right. All right. This is from Mary and Winston Salem, North Carolina. It says, Craig, and also hello to Jeff. I do not like Secretariat's new hat, so can you please take it off him? Whoa. I'm not. Secretariat likes his hat, and Secretariat wants what he wants. If he wants to wear that hat, he's going to wear it. The only hope you've got of getting him to move it, that's right, he's going gangster. Watch, look at him. Oh. Easy, easy. Oh, my God. Hey, 
You'll, you'll hurt your chest if you keep yeah. puffing out like that, man. <laughs> He's got a strange uh, chest protrusion. Yeah, yeah. So. He flexes his chest when he's feeling a bit gangster. I see. He try, he's trying to throw gang signals with his, with his uh, chest. With his chest. Throwing yeah. gang signals. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's burlesque dancing, I think. <laughs> this is from Leanne in Denver. You ever been there? Leanne, sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, she says, Dear Craig, have you ever gotten a sweat stain underneath your show jacket and tie? <laughs> I don't sweat. I'm European. <laughs> This is a vague smell of, uh... Pastries. Pastries. <laughs> I smell of pastries. I smell like a large croissant. <laughs> a, a baguette, if you will. No, the, the baguette is lower. Yeah, I know. <laughs> lower. Lower. Oh, lower. yeah, lower. Okay, lower. I'll do it again. I'll lower. do it again. Do it again. Do it All right. Again. I'll do it again. The baguette <laughs> is lower. Put the bag in the bag. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so delightful when you suddenly lapse into serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Marissa in Portland, Oregon. It says, Craig, can you wish my pop pop happy birthday? He's turning 83 today, and his name is George. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> <laughs> What's pop pop doing watching this show? Wait Perhaps he could phone in and tell us. Hello? Oh, it's Pop-Pop. -up. <laughs> Hello, Pop. Happy birthday. Thanks. You know, I, I got to be this age by smoking a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> and uh, I love your show, and I think you guys are just crazy. I don't care for that secretary in that damn hat, though. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like the hat? Take that damn thing off. It pisses me off. Oh, oh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, that turns me on. Click. <laughs> What the hell's going on over there? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the wind blew them away. I, well, there you are, then. I, oh, 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 you decided that now you're going oh, yeah. What about the gold we were throwing down earlier? Yeah, man. What about the great stuff about the uh, do your own joke? And yeah, no, what about that? No, we're doing nothing. Now we'll have blood. Really? No, you stay where you are. I don't need your charity, you bastards. <laughs> we're out of here. You won't have us to push around anymore. Yeah! We'll be right back, everybody. actress and a best-selling writer and one of my favorites uh, in the world and she smells lovely she smells great I just smelled her hair oh what is it what does it smell oh it smells like victory oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's uh, just about to do the final season of parenthood um, she's probably done it yeah it's ready to go it's all set and it starts this Thursday on NBC yeah. Lauren Graham everybody Your book is here. Thank you. It's so nice to see it here in this on this desk. Well, I I I read it every day, just a little chapter. <laughs> and I always look at this uh, photograph at the back of your book because it looks like you crouching. Like, like I'm ready to pounce. Like I might hurt. Yeah, you. yeah. And it's like buy this or I will cut you. <laughs> How, uh, you look great, sweetie. Thank you. Sweetie. I like your jacket. Thank you. It's a Yeats poem. On in glitter on a yeah. jacket. Isn't that great? It kind of is, and it's horrible at yeah. the same time. Yeah, because why read it when you can just wear it? <laughs> I kind of love this. Uh, yeah. Are there other literary giants available in glittery jacket form? I don't know. 
let's start a line, a clothing line. Oh, I'm sure it's line. been done. Fashion people must do that all the time. I don't know what those people do. Do you watch Project Runway? Do you still watch yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me too. Do you like Zach Posen? Yes. Uh, me too. I love him. I think I, I wasn't sure I was going to, because when Michael Kors went away, I was like, because I always yeah. liked what Michael Kors did. <laughs> but then Zach Posen has yeah. got the, I liked what you were, but I kind of didn't. Yes. He kind of talks a little bit and then asks you a question at the end of what he's saying. <laughs> uh, you're really an aficionado of the... Project, Project Runway. Runway yeah. well, I love it. I've got to get me some Tim and Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. That's thinking man's football. I what? was a judge on Project Runway. Yeah, I know. I remember seeing yeah. it. Yeah. It was hard to be a judge. It's really challenging, and it's a long night, and it made me feel sad. <laughs> I didn't like... That's, that's how I feel watching Project Runway. <laughs> I didn't like judging the nice people. They look so tired. They're what? working so hard. Well, you don't... What you should do is base your uh, judging only on who you like and who you don't like as contestants. <laughs> just like life. Yeah, just like life. Like, yeah. you know, it's fine. Yeah, all right. What hey, have you got there? Listen, I have two things. This was in the dressing room. This was my gift, along with a nice Craig mug, which I have like 10 we, of. We gave you that? Yeah. <laughs> and it's, and the flavor, first of all, it's gravel. <laughs> and, and the flavor is salty graham. Yeah. Oh, yeah, salty yeah. graham. Yeah. 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 Oh, ha. Oh, her. Buy me book. <laughs> Buy me book. Why don't you? Why am I so... Oh, because I'm a pirate. Yeah, well, salty. salty. Yeah, salty. Yeah, yeah. Her. That's right. Her parenthood about to go into its final season. <laughs> final season? You're going to be done and I'm going to be You're done. You're going to be done. And, which leads me to this other thing I brought, and I just thought this was so sweet, because this was... This is probably... I can't even bear to think about it, but I think this might be our last time on this show together. Mm -hmm. And you wrote me this nice note. Oh, well... Right. Welcome back, Lauren. <laughs> I admit it is somewhat sparing in its prose, but <laughs> James Joyce, who you are familiar with, of course, I, I, got think a he, jacket. I think he's got his own jacket lying out, yeah. said sentimentality is unearned emotion, and I agree with him. Hmm. I don't think you need to be sentimental about this. For you and I will go on to greater things. I think we should do a show together. Okay. Um, What's it about? Uh, we're detectives. Okay. Comedy detectives <laughs> who live next door to each other and have a sort of chemistry, but never really, and you don't know if they're going on, and they might, and then yeah. they don't, and one night they get snowed in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, um, <laughs> what is the name of our show? Um, hmm. um, uh, <laughs> The, the Craig Ferguson Show. <laughs> uh, my agent will call you. Okay. No, you don't think so? But don't no, you think I that do. would be a good thing? We should I do. do that. I, I think there's a lack of comedy detectives out there. There's I hardly want, any. No. I want some laughs with my crimes. And, and maybe, maybe we could have... And the crimes should be, like, not big crimes. Right. But like, crimes that, like, who stole this hat? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Why do people come to us if they're like sort of meaningless crimes? Because like, what's our, are we good at our job? <laughs> not not particularly. <laughs> but they come to us because we're reasonably priced. Yes. <laughs> and we're very strict. Oh. With each other. Oh. And we've got a wacky robot skeleton lives next door. Oh. Hey, 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 yeah. Take such a long time to get a show on the air. Maybe we should try like the live show. We should like when we're done to go do like a bus and truck and just we like live on a bus and drive to city to city and you know. Uh, who gets the top bunk? If you know what I'm saying. Who? Uh, you. You don't want that. <laughs> My goodness. Maybe we should fly <laughs> instead. Okay. <laughs> Separately in separate airplanes? Maybe. Okay. Co coach? Maybe we should do separate shows and just tell so each other So what you're saying is, I never want to see you again, <laughs> no. but you're saying it in a nice way. No, I'm deep. I'm very upset. I, I have, I'm having more trouble saying, I know that we're not really saying goodbye, but I have had so much fun with you on this show that I'm truly, you're, look, you're, look, you're giving me the dead eyes. You're like, no, 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 no. emotion. No, no I'm because just thinking I'm about that joke in the monologue earlier. That, no, I'm, <laughs> 
I'm true. I am. I'm having more trouble dealing with the end of our time than of my time on Parenthood. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> not anything bad about. No, I know. I understand. I totally get this it. This has been such well, a you special. Are, you, are, you know, you're one of my favorites. One of my top twenty-five. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you tell from the note? Look what I said. Well, come back. I would like you. <laughs> And it's not even signed Love Craig, it's just Craig. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's a look, there's a little kiss there. Not even an O, just X. Yeah, yeah, you know why it's just X? Because it's not a kiss, it's X. Rated X? Uh, sure, all right. <laughs> No. But seriously, I don't know what I'm going to do. What am, oh. I, gonna, what am I supposed to do? Well, I'm in this serious. Time I think we should slot. do a show together. Maybe okay. a sitcom, uh, a right. four camera sitcom, so that we only have to be there a couple of days a week. <laughs> we got, okay. Are we detectives on that? Nah, nah, nah. So it's like, we're just a married couple, and I married you to get my green card, and we were just friends, but now we're falling in love. By the way, this writes itself. Are you yeah, kidding? Kind of, a little bit. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I came from, I came from another country. Okay. And we were just like friends. Yeah. And I said, oh no, I'm gonna have to, they're gonna deport me. And you said, oh look, I'll marry you. And then, but they check up. I said, well, you can just stay in the spare room. And then they get snowed in. <laughs> yeah. I really think it's a good idea. And they learn to love each other and be married throughout the show. They, they you know, they have to, I mean, they got married just yeah. for, but for sure, legals. I get, but yeah. they, you know, and then, what's you know. What's it called? What's this show called? Uh, marriage of Convenience. Oh. My God! <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really. And they've got funny. a wacky skeleton that lives next door. Hey, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. I love it. All right. Actually, I'm, not... I'm, I'm actually beginning to get quite serious about this. I know it's a really good it's idea. It's not a bad idea. It, well, it's it's that movie, but we haven't seen it in a long time. I've never seen for legal reasons. I don't even know what movie you're talking <laughs> okay. about. Okay, it's called Green Card. Green which Card, be another yeah. name of our show. Well, we could call it Green for, Card, yeah, yeah. But but it, it wouldn't be for the Green Card. No. It would be for citizenship. Yes. Yeah. Or we could do it the other way around. We could set it in Scotland, and you marry me to stay in Scotland. Mm. Does that? Do you have to do that there? Nah, you can stay if you like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like, hey, come on in. There you are. Here's your potato. Have a great time. I've never been to Scotland. I really want to go there. That could be one of the episodes of our yes. show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you come back and meet my family who are all gingers. Oh. <laughs> then what happened to you? Why are you not? I, I had my hair dyed at immigration. On Ellis Island. As oh, I came God. through, they're like, no, no, you can't have ginger hair here. <laughs> This is an odd episode. I don't like it as much yeah. as, our, as our earlier ones. Let's take a commercial break. I feel like we've break. already jumped the shark. No, okay. no, let's take a commercial break and we'll, okay. we'll be right with you. We'll come right back with a complete uh, treatment for the show. If you are lawyers sitting in an office about three years from now, when our new show is a big hit and CBS are trying to get the money out of us, we're not having the idea you think we're having right now. Anyway. So that's it. Okay. Well, let's do that then, I guess. Okay. All right. And let's go on vacation because... Okay. We, where should we go? Um, are we married in real life? I forget. I think we've come close a couple of times, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little weird. What do you think it would be like if we? Oh, well, you were. Well, you're obviously married to somebody, so well, yeah, but we shouldn't even conjecture. But what do you think it would be like <laughs> if you and I were married? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty fun, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good fun. We're both tall. Yeah, well, there you are. Then that would make for a hilarious show. <laughs> I'd think about that though because I have acted with some real shorties in my life. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, I know, the, I, no offense to shorties. I just mean, it's for me, I am always like looking down at people and. and they're like, I feel they love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But, but you know, everyone's tall now in show business. In their own way? <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm just, you know, because you know, you're, so you're going to upset somebody by saying either somebody might be fat or somebody might be short. People go crazy. Right. All right. Well, 
shorter than I am. Is that okay? I'm just, I, my TV daughter, Mae Whitman, is in my dressing room right now, and she's a, sh she's a short person, and I love her. Oh, no, you shouldn't have outed her. Why? <laughs> It's got to be her decision to say admit she's short. Oh, she's got to come out with yeah. it herself. Yeah, yeah. Is she is she here now? Yeah. Sh should we say hi to her? Yeah, yeah. Could could you, you make it to the stage? She's gonna kill me. I need something to the stage just to measure. Hey. Okay, yeah. Just come, come, on, come out come for on one out. second. All right. Well, she's coming. She's coming. You know what? You know what? Hey! <laughs> hey, hey! Lauren was saying mean things about you being I a short You know, all, I heard all about it. Do you carry it. your own microphone? I brought this with me. <laughs> you're just, like Chris Rock. I was you're like, yeah! Waiting. I was right off stage, like, waiting just for, like, a shout out. <laughs> yeah, not cool. But I just you're came so from cute. work. I'm in shorts. I am short. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. It's we're Thank you for standing down there. I, I, this helps. <laughs> makes it feel much better. Look, we'll make it even. Nice. Hey. hey. One big family. You hey. guys have a daughter on the show, oh, oh, right? Uh, she could be our daughter on the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you deal with her. I've had it. <laughs> anyway, I said. All right. Thank you, guys. I we'll appreciate right it. Everybody, we'll be right back. Got a very, very, very talented actor. He stars in the Minji. Min, <laughs> Minji. Minji. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Boom! Bam! Thank you, guys in the band. You got it! <laughs> he stars in the Mindy Project. Tuesday nights on Fox. I'm glad I pronounced that right, too. Take a look at this. Ed Weeks, everybody. Ed Weeks. You look great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, much. you really do. You, have, you, have, I mean, you must be at the Pilates or something. You I look... am doing all the pilots. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, you? Thank you so much for having me again. It's, I'm so touched, and I didn't bring you anything <laughs> except for my discourse. Well, that's enough. Always a, a chat with the charming gentleman. If you know anything about me, you know that's half the battle. <laughs> Uh, also, I'm tall, too. Maybe I could be on your show. Oh, the show that I, for legal reasons, haven't had an idea for? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The show that the idea is yet to come. Yeah, yet Ending to come, idea. it'll probably come ooh, sometime after Christmas. But... Yes. Yeah, no, I, I think... I could be your tall, English, slightly effete, but very heterosexual boss. Don't you do that already? No, I do do that already. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to typecast yourself. Why That's don't you be true. something else? Uh, be a, a tall agent. gay boss. Tall gay boss? It's all boss with it's you, all though, boss, isn't it? It's no. all boss. Yeah. No, what about a uh, chimney sweep? Oh, well, you know, I was actually, I was once a janitor. A janitor is I okay. Was, I, was, yeah. I was once a janitor for um, a dance school. A girls' dance school. Really? And I thought, I, I thought what you were presumably thinking, that it was going to end up into a porno movie. But yeah, what happened yeah, absolutely. Was the, it wasn't full of young, hot, new bar ladies. It was old women who were marking exam papers and so it was a much more depressing... That doesn't sound like... Well, who was dancing then? I think absent people. I think it was... Sort of All right, so the, they would dance and while you weren't there. They were just then, I wasn't there. And then when the janitor came <laughs> in, the janitor's here, janitor's and they would janitor. dance away. They would dance away. They'd pirouette off. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So maybe I could be a, a janitor. But... No, you've done that. No, I think we need secret agent. Secret agent. Or a terrible villain. If you hear an English accent in America, that's a villain. It's very racist. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, he's a racist. What can I tell you? He's a racist. <laughs> Stop being so racist. He's just thinking you as a villain because, like, and people from ancient Rome, always played by British people. Always played by Brits. Always. Nazis, Nazis. Nazis, yes. yes. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yes, always Brits. 
Well, the na well, Nazis talk with this accent. This is not. Well, I am done German, man. Das uh, ist are, are you gute? German? Then? Das well und um, das ist born in, in Germany. Ma no, I don't speak any German, but I was. <laughs> So that was made up German? That was made up German. Sagst du, he is in German. Ah, uh, das ist Janitor Pornen. Yeah. He's just, now Lauren Graham says, the boobies. Ah, das the boobies. And, and if dann sitze unternissen, Lauren Graham, das ist sie in the boobies. Oh, yes. The boobies. Sie, sie, sie unter boobies. Unter uber. Yeah. Uber unter uber boobies. Oh, yeah. Uber. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> das uh, little slitten sie. No, that's enough. That's enough of that. That's yeah, a cleavage, yeah, yeah. cleavage. Oh, cleavage, yes. You racist. Yeah, you're a racist, man. Stop being such a racist. <laughs> he's looking at this so racistly. Well, he's got that hate in his eye. Oh. Yeah. Hate crimes. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> Mindy, Mindy Project's going on. The Minji right? Project, as you almost said. You're going to apologize to Mindy for me. I will, I will. I don't, I don't I'll say Minji, I'm so sorry. Oh, Mindy. stop it. Mindy. I'm definitely fired now, you realize that? No, she that's, that's, fired you. She's lovely. She is lovely. She's lovely. I but tell you. one thing she hates is being called Minji. Really? Yeah. I've said it four times. Yeah, you, you're the one not letting it go. I'm like, it was a totes mistake. <laughs> okay, I fine. did it. Well, let, well, Do you say totes? I say totes. I say totes my goats. Totes my goats? Yeah, he's a Scottish goat. Yeah, it, totes my goats was a Scottish goat entertainer. <laughs> he was. He used to travel from town to town with his goat and his potato entertaining people. Yeah, until the fame got to his goat Until the head. fame drove him crazy. Crazy, and Definitely he died crazy. in a horrible goat riding accident. Yeah, <laughs> after smoking too much goat crack. Goat crack? Which he got from Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I sold him a little goat crack. That's well, like, yeah. He plays that? a tall, gay, secret agent janitor on the next Marriage of Convenience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the way that's going. Yeah. I like the way that's going. Thank you. Yeah, not bad. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. No, I think this could work. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me so how do you think this show's going to go? I mean, is Mindy going to stay on the air? Because, you know, Lauren and I, we, we, you know, we're putting it together. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's it's tricky, isn't it? In, uh, you can in, never tell. In television. You, you can never tell in the old TV land. You're here one day and then you're, you know. It's like fashion. One day you're in, so the next you're out. You're out. Yeah. All the way. Do you watch uh, Project Runway? No, I don't watch it because I think I would hate it. But um, I do watch. I did watch Fashion Police with our dear, dear Joan. Oh, Rivers. dear Joan. Yeah, 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 lovely. No, I didn't watch that so much. No. no. Oh, no. <laughs> End of that conversation, I guess. Mm. Uh, oh, I tell you what. Do you watch House Hunters International? No, I don't watch House Hunters. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Awkward pause? If you like. Edward Weeks, everybody. I take the eyelash curler from her outstretched hand. Thanks, I say with confidence. I can do it. <laughs> That's the healing power of someday, someday, maybe. <laughs> by Lauren Graham. <laughs> I just read it to them in the commercial break. <laughs> now everybody's friends. Not a real horse. Good <laughs> night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>